God of Elijah, send down fire. God of Elijah, send down fire. And it came to pass, after many days, that the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year, saying, Go show thyself unto Ahab, and I will send rain upon the earth. And Elijah went to show himself unto Ahab, and there was a saw farming in Samaria. And it came to pass, when Ahab saw Elijah, that Ahab said unto him, Elijah, are you the prophet troubling Israel? O king, I have not troubled Israel, but thou and thy father's house, in that ye have forsaken the commandments of the Lord, and thou hast followed Balaam. Now therefore send and gather to me all Israel unto Mount Carmel, and the prophets of Baal, and the prophets of the grove, which eat at Jezebel's table. So Ahab sent unto all the children of Israel, and gathered the prophets together unto Mount Carmel. And Elijah came unto the people and said, How long will you have two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. I, even I only, remain a prophet of the Lord. But Baal's prophets are 450 men. Let them therefore give us two bullocks and let them choose one bullock for themselves and cut it in pieces and lay it on the wood and put no fire under. And I will dress the other bullock and lay it on the wood and put no fire under. And call ye on the name of your gods. And I will call on the name of the Lord. And the God that answered by fire, let him be God. And the people answered and said, It is well spoken. It is well spoken. Choose you one bullock for yourselves and dress it first. For ye are many and call on the name of your gods, but put no fire under. And they took the bullock which was given them, and they dressed it, and called on the name of Baal from morning even until noon, saying, O Baal, hear us. But there was no voice, nor any that answered. And they leaped upon the altar which was made, and Elisha mocked them and said, Cry aloud. For he is a God. Either he is talking or he is pursuing. Or he is on a journey. Or perhaps he is asleep and must be awakened. And they cried aloud and cut themselves with knives till blood gushed out. And it came to pass, when midday was past, the prophesied until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice. There was neither voice nor any to answer. And Elijah said unto the people, Come there unto me. And he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. And Elijah took twelve stones, according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, unto whom the word of the Lord came, saying, Israel shall be thy name. And with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord, and he made a trench about the altar as great as will contain two measures of seed. And he said, Fill four barrels with water, and pour it on the bond sacrifice, and on the wood. Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel, let it be known this day, that thou art God in Israel, and that I am thy servant, and that I have done all these things at thy word. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that these people may know 
that thou art the Lord God, and that thou hast turned their hearts back again. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice and the wood and the stones and the dust and licked up the water that was in the trench. And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and said, The Lord, he is the God. The Lord, he is the God. And Elisha said unto Baal, Let none of them escape. And they took them, and Elijah brought them down to the brook of Kishon and slew them there.